Okay, so today I'm going to be doing uh, upgrading on my RAM uh, in the Acer Aspire 522 netbook. So I went ahead and bought G Skill So Dim, just the one dim. Here's the specs. So it's a one four gig dim. Timing is nine 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 twenty four. And I'm going to show you how I opened it, because I see that many people on the internet seem to have problem opening this netbook so the way you do is when you look at the netbook there's gonna be a really tiny small tab here 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 there's gonna be four tab so using a credit card or like a card that you don't wanna damage your credit card is probably not a good idea so use something that you don't care if it gets ruined you just put in here and press up like this way you have to start from left hand side so you just insert and press up and you'll feel it that it, it's getting lighter. Do the same thing on forward location and you'll see when you look at it from the side that the keypad would actually float up like something is pushing it from the inside. And then you just at least grab one key like F5 or something that you don't use and just kind of pick it up a little bit and you will see that the keypad will come up and then insert the credit card and just pull up and then you should have the credit card out and then you would see there are four screws that you need to take off here they're numbered so it's hard to miss here here and there's one that's located right there okay and then you take a screwdriver there's a hole right here you just push down and then and then your back uh, cover you can take it off and you can actually have access to inside so it's the Wi-Fi chip the hard drive the APU and here is the RAM Okay, so to get the RAM out, all you do is just release the tab and your RAM would be out. Just gently, and that's it. And then here's the new G Skill RAM that I just talked about five minutes ago. You just take this out, just imagine it's out. Imagine this is my re new RAM insert it. This one only comes with one DIM slot so you can only have one DIM upgrade but just so you know if you upgrade to this is one gigabyte that come with it. If you upgrade to two gigabyte then you can still use the Windows 7 starter edition that comes with it but if you upgrade to something like me like a one four gig that's the max it can support then Windows 7 starter edition will not work. You have to get a new uh, OS don't worry, I have a Windows 7 Home Premium, 64-bit, but uh, just so you know. So, starter will go up to 2 gig. If you want to go more than 2 gig, like me, 4 gig, then you have to change the operating system. So you have to think about if you want to keep the license that comes with this uh, laptop or not. Anyway, so, thanks for watching, and see you on the next video. Um, before I go, I, might, I forgot to say something. Uh, when I said press the tab here, here, and here, and here, that's how you open the keyboard, but 99% of the people that do this, they will end up breaking that tab that's over here. Um, I just don't know. The way they built it is when you push the tab up, the spring is supposed to push it back out, but uh, it doesn't work the way it's supposed to work. So if you do break it, like I did, uh, don't freak out, you can, there's an easy fix. So basically you need a tab that needs to hold the main keyboard to the main chases. So you basically make, you have to make your own tab. Like I did. See that white plastic over there? I made that. So what all you have to do is like I said, find a card, like I'm using an old uh, SIM card holder or whatever that I don't use the garbage. And you just need a thickness about this thick. <laughs> And then you just cut it. Like I just took this here, just cut it up, 
and make a tiny little plastic and just insert it. Be careful, it might come out and hit you in the eye because there's a sp spring inside. But anyway, so put it in there, put it in there, put it in there all the way. And you will see that the, the basically the plastic is kind of in between the chases and the keyboard. And right now it's holding it, so your keyboard is back to normal. So that's how you fix it, because uh, I see many people broke the tab and now their keyboard is messed up. So that's the easy way to fix it. No glue, nothing is needed, because if you want to take this out in the future, you just have to move that white tab again and just take them out. That's it. Or you can just take these keys, pop them open, and get the plastic out and then open it. Alright, so thanks for watching. See you.